Metrology-assisted assembly, as well as jig and tool building, are used extensively in the aerospace and automotive industries. Build can help streamline these workflows by offering all of the necessary tools, real-time inspection capabilities, network bundling for large part inspection, and flexible reporting tools. In this example, we will be using one of our demo parts called the Frame Tool. This model contains movable parts, shown in purple and light blue, which will act as jig details for this demonstration. With extensive support for probe-based and non-contact scanning systems, Builder provides a common interface when working with multiple and different measurement devices. During the following demonstration, we will be using a laser tracker. Let's get started by leveling the jig's frame since it is a common requirement for jig building. This step is less common for assemblies or inspections. We start by measuring a level CS and setting it as active. Then, using the real-time deviations in the broker, we can set a reference height by clicking the tear button, with a zero on it, to obtain coordinates with respect to a probe location. At this point, it becomes very easy to adjust the jig so that its corners are at the same height. Once a satisfactory leveling has been obtained, we can move on with the next step. Now that we have a leveled jig, we can perform an initial alignment. Builda offers a variety of alignment methods to suit different jig building and assembly workflows, but for this example, we will align to reference points included in the model. The way these reference points were created involved leapfrogging, bundling, and best fitting to the surfaces, which we will cover in another video. For now, we simply need to measure the reference points, and the alignment is done automatically. This method of alignment offers the option to scale your device automatically if the location of those points is known to be exact. Scaling can also be done manually by inputting the type of material and temperature of the part. Once the step has been performed, we can use the Inspect Geometry command to display real-time deviations of the geometry being inspected, allowing us to position the jig details or parts of the assembly quickly and efficiently. Buildit also offers the option to display build arrows, displaying the orientation and status of the deviation even more clearly. This command allows us to set tolerances on the geometries being inspected, giving us feedback in real time about a part or detail position. At this point, once the jig is built and all of its features have been positioned, you can choose to inspect your jig or assembly and create a report. Using the same command, we will take measurements with automatic annotations. We can then create a surface deviation analysis and include it in our report. Buildit offers flexible and powerful reporting capabilities, enabling you to include information on actual and nominal geometry, as well as custom views of your models and analysis containing deviation values and histograms. Reports can be output in PDF, Excel, or text format. Stay tuned to hear more about Buildit's GDT measurement, automation, and reporting capabilities. You can download the latest version of Buildit by visiting our website at builditsoftware.com.